हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनर्जेटिक्स ऑफ द सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन ओल्ड कंसेप्ट वर्सेज द न्यू कंसेप्ट सो फर्स्टली वी विल टेक अप द एनर्जेटिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओल्डर कंसेप्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओल्डर कंसेप्ट वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ एन ए डी एच विल गिव यू थ्री ए टी पी एंड वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ एफ ए डी एच टू विल गिव यू टू ए टी पी सो वी विल कैलकुलेट द ओवरऑल एनर्जेटिक्स ऑफ द सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन विथ दिस वैल्यू in the case of old concept so as you all are aware that the cellular respiration consist of firstly glycolysis in which glucose gets broken down and give rise to two molecules of pyruvate after that there is oxidation of pyruvate in which pyruvate gets converted into acetyl coa then there is krebs cycle in which acetyl coa uh, reacts with oxaloacetate to form citric acid so in the case of glycolysis we have a net gain of 2 atp as well as we have a gain of 2 nadh this nadh needs to be incashed these needs to be converted into atp and for that these needs to be uh, traveled from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria for the electron transport system so for this purpose the cell has shuttle system we have already discussed in detail the shuttle system in our previous videos so there are two types of shuttle malate aspartate shuttle and glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle so when this nadh is transported using the malate aspartate shuttle then in that case the value will be multiplied by 3 so for converting this nadh into atp one molecule of nadh gives you 3 atp so two molecules of nadh will give you 6 atp two molecules of nadh are multiplied by 3 will give you 6 atp okay however if the cell uses glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system then in that case one nadh will give you 2 atp because we have discussed earlier that in the case of glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle nadh has transferred its electrons and ultimately in the mitochondria it has been converted into fadh2 so that's why in the case of glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle we will have gain of 2 atp so if these two nadh are transported by means of glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle then the value will be of 2 atp so for two molecules of nadh there will be net gain of 4 atp because from one nadh molecule you will be able to gain 2 atp so from two nadh molecule you will be able to gain 4 atp so net gain is of about 8 atp if the cell is using malate aspartate shuttle or the net gain is of about 6 atp if the cell is using glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle so the value or the gain of atp is dependent upon the type of shuttle system that is used next we are coming to the oxidation of the pyruvate or the link reaction this is the reaction in which the pyruvate gets converted into acetyl coenzyme a we have already discussed in detail uh, in the oxidation of pyruvate so in the oxidation of the pyruvate there is gain of two molecules of nadh and according to the value one molecule of nadh will give you 3 atp so we will multiply the value so two molecules of nadh multiplied by 3 atp will give you 6 atp so from the oxidation of the pyruvate there is net gain of 6 atp okay now we are coming to the krebs cycle 
so in the case of krebs cycle for the two turns of the krebs cycle there is overall net gain of 2 atp 6 nadh and 2 fadh2 so we have to convert the these nadh and the fadh2 that were gained in the krebs cycle are taken to the electron transport chain where their oxidation takes place and from them there is generation of atp so there are six molecules of nadh and as you all know that one molecule of nadh will give you 3 atp so we will multiply the value by 3 so six molecules of nadh will give you 18 atp okay one molecule of nadh will give you 3 atp so six molecules of nadh will give you 18 atp because we are multiplying the value by 3 atp okay however in the case of fadh2 one molecule of fadh2 will give you 2 atp so two molecules of fadh2 will give you 4 atp we are multiplying the value okay so in this case for the krebs cycle we have the net gain of 24 atp so in the krebs cycle there is net gain of 24 atp now we have to add all the values so 24 atp plus 6 atp is 30 atp 30 atp then you can either have 8 atp or you can either have 6 atp that means that you can have a net gain of either 36 atp or 38 atp okay so one glucose molecule on going cellular respiration will give you either 36 atp or 38 atp and that variation in the 36 and the 38 atp is due to the types of shuttle systems that were used earlier in the after the glycolysis process to shuttle the nadh okay so that is about the old concept according to the old concept one molecule of glucose will give you either 36 atp or either 38 atp now we are going to discuss about the energetics of the cellular respiration according to the new concept according to the recent concept okay so as we have already talked about earlier in the electron transport chain that in the electron transport chain one molecule of nadh pumps 10 proton and one molecule of fadh2 will pump 6 proton so as four protons are needed for the generation of one atp and in the case of nadh there are 10 protons so these 10 protons when converted into atp these will give you 2.5 atp okay that's why it mean that one molecule of nadh will give you 2.5 atp and as one molecule of fadh2 pumps six protons so converting six protons into atp it will give you 1.5 atp so this is the new concept according to the new concept the values are one nadh gives you 2.5 atp and one fadh2 gives you 1.5 atp so let's discuss about this so in the case of glycolysis we have a net gain of 2 atp and 2 nadh so we have to convert these nadh into atp values so for converting this if the cell is using malate aspartate shuttle we will multiply the value by 2.5 if the cell is using glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle we will multiply the nadh molecules by 1.5 so if the cell is using malate aspartate shuttle then two molecules of nadh will give you 5 atp okay if the cell is using glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system then two molecules of nadh will give you 3 atp because in the case of glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system nadh was converted into fadh2 that's why um, here is 1.5 so two molecules of nadh will give you 3 atp if glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system is used 
so uh, calculating the total values there will be net gain of either 5 plus to 7 ATP if the cell is using malate aspartate shuttle or there will be gain of 5 ATP if the cell is using glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system okay now we are coming to the oxidation of the pyruvate in the oxidation of the pyruvate you have gain of 2 NADH so 2 molecules of NADH will give you 5 ATP because 1 molecule of NADH will give you 2.5 ATP so 2 molecules of NADH will give you 5 ATP so in the oxidation of the pyruvate there is net gain of 5 ATP now we are coming to the Krebs cycle in the case of Krebs cycle for two turns of the Krebs cycle for the two molecules of pyruvate there will be net gain of 2 ATP, 6 NADH and 2 FADH2. These six molecules of NADH and two molecules of FADH2 enter into the electron transport chain where they give rise to ATP. So we are calculating here that in the electron transport chain how much ATP gain is there from these molecules so from one NADH molecule we have net gain of 2.5 ATP so from six molecules of NADH we will multiply the value by 2.5 ATP so net gain will be your 15 ATP so from six molecules of NADH you will be able to gain 15 ATP and from two molecules of FADH2 you will be able to gain 3 ATP. So we will add these values. So in the Krebs cycle there is net gain of 20 ATP. Now we are going to add all the values. So 20 plus 5 gives you 25. 25 plus 5 will be 30 or 25 plus 7 will be 32. So there will be net gain of either 30 ATP or 32 ATP. It will depend upon the type of shuttle system used. So according to the new and recent concept, one molecule of glucose will give you either 30 ATP or 32 ATP. So this is the new concept which has not been yet mentioned in your books. In the books, you must have been seen your old concept. So this is the new concept according to the new concept according to the latest concept one molecule of glucose will give you 30 to 32 ATP. Okay if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you so much.